This is a great chance for us to debut the, the latest addition to the Speedway. As most everyone knows, each year we do something different. If you come here in April and you don't see something different in, in October, then something's wrong. So we're always improving, but this latest latest change we have made to the Speedway is one I'm probably the most proud of, of everything that we have done. I think it ties us back to the origins of the Speedway with beautification, and you can see the boxwoods behind us. Uh, that's something that the Speedway is known for. What you see behind the boxwoods with the aesthetic wall and the grass berm, uh, it just really enhances the, the beauty of the place. We have always been known as the most beautiful track in NASCAR, and I think this puts an exclamation point on that. Uh, really happy to finally finish this project. It's been a long one. It's been going on all summer long, and they said they would finish about a week before the race, and voila, they finished about a week before the race. But uh, it, like I say, it's, it's, it's something that we're really, we're really happy with. Uh, this year, it'll be exactly as what you see next week. Next year, uh, we may have a new fan experience where fans can go out, throw out a blanket, uh, sit, on the, sit on the grass, and enjoy a nice day of racing here at Martinsville Speedway. Some people would prefer that over sitting in the grandstand, and this is a prime opportunity to, to experience something different. And that's, that's one thing that we're always looking at doing here is something different, uh, always looking for a fan experience that you know, kind of pushes it over the edge and, and keeps people wanting to come back to Martinsville. So again, thank you for being here. This is a, this is a great day for us to, to be able to show this to you and finally in the completed stages. So I've got Lynn and Eddie Wood with me from the famous Wood Brothers. Uh, they've been coming here obviously for a number of years and they've seen the numerous changes we've made throughout, throughout our 75 years. Uh, and they've seen it from, from what it was back in the 60s when they started with us uh, up till now. So I'll let them say a few words about what they're looking at. It's the first time they've seen it as well. Get it? Yeah, thank you guys for being here. Uh, yeah, we, um, we started coming here uh, myself uh, in the early 60s. And I remember, you know, this is long before the, the metal bleachers and stuff is all concrete uh, seats and seats were in there. I've actually sat right over there during some modified races. I remember it, right, <laughs> remember it well, but I, I'm, I'm, I think when, um, which we get around the next year and you can actually sit on the grass, I might take you up on that. <laughs> I've, never, I've never watched one of our races on that side of the racetrack, so I, I think I would, that would be a good deal for me. But like I said, this, even when I was a kid, this was known as the the nicest, prettiest, best maintained racetrack on the whole circuit. It always has been. Uh, from something as simple as restrooms. You know, now you take for granted how many restrooms at racetracks and facilities and things they had. This place had way more than anywhere else. Uh, just the facility part, this the how comfortable you would be when you came here. Now, we never camped here, obviously, because we only live 30 miles from here, but camping's always been a big deal here, and it's just always been like a family family atmosphere. It used to be grass where you guys were standing, and I can remember when I was a kid, our, our mom and everybody, and everybody in the, that was involved in the race would bring picnic lunch, and you just had a big picnic out in the, in the middle of the infield, and, and everybody shared, and everybody was all buddy-buddy, and. You know, then you go race and everybody get mad at each other over something. But after the race, you go back and be buddies again. And uh, this this is a great place, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to coming in here next week and next year. Like I said, I want to take you up on setting up there. You probably you probably could get some seats in Glenwood Tower if you wanted. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's that's our family's <laughs> tower there, and um, I understand it's pretty close to sold out as as the rest of this place is, which that's. That's really a, an accomplishment. I'm, I'm really proud of you guys for that, and um, I can't wait to get down here next year and eat hot dogs. <laughs> I'll volunteer to, next week to try out. Try it out. <laughs> I mean, I, I, w I would love to do that. I mean, it's, like Eddie said, we've, we've never watched a race of our own out there. You know, it was always modified race or the, what was it? 
Cardinal and yep. Dogwood races and stuff like that. But like Eddie said, the whole infield used to be grass and it was it would come with station wagons. And yep. you just opened the back, laid the tailgate down on the station wagon, that's when you'd have your uh, the the family type atmosphere and the camaraderie with everybody, all the teams. And, and it's um, like the, the grass, you know, it's pretty and green. Now that's the way the grass was in, throughout the entire in, you know, infield and yeah. even the curbing, you know, we're just next to the next to the racetrack. It's just it's always been pretty and white like it is now with the, you know, the dogwoods and uh, everything. Now, there used to be, and none of you guys are old enough to remember this, but there was a pond over there that had all these ducks in it. That's now, this man here was, was the keeper of the ducks. <laughs> but with construction and, you know, things that's got to, had to change, they're, they're not there anymore, but. Maybe he could bring them back. I'd be, I'd be all Maybe not. It. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we, didn't have, we didn't have lights back then either, though. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, didn't have lights. A lot of change. A lot of change. Uh, and Martinsville has stayed up to date with the changes. Yeah. Whatever um, it's took, they, they've always, they've always done it. Your grandfather, um, he, he, he did a nice job of bringing you up. And I remember, we remember when you were about that tall driving a pace car. Yep. I don't know who was working the gas pedal, but you had the steering wheel. I had the gas pedal. I got a, I got a picture, and I got to find it. I, if I can find it, I'll put it on our Twitter page. Maybe but he's, got, he's, <laughs> he's got a little boy's suit on. He's got a little bow tie, and he is standing in in the driver's seat. You know, you see the steering wheel and all, but he's driving a pace car. And his, and his granddaddy was with him. But, you know, back to his granddaddy, what he, you know, what he did for the the sport of NASCAR and you know he began this place um, and it was dirt now, I don't remember the dirt part that was in the mid 50s uh, but I don't remember coming here as dirt but uh, we were here you know after they during the after they paved it and I think if I'm not mistaken the last race it was raced here before they concreted the corners I think we won the race uh, with David Pearson because they had a problem with the, with the track. And so to fix that, they just decided they'd go concrete it. And he, uh, Clay was actually in on, I mean, it wasn't like you do it now with big trucks and you know machinery to do it. Most of that was done by hand. And I think he was a part of that. Was. Yes. Remember so, it well. That's yes. another case of your grandfather seeing what needed to be done and made a change that was unheard of at that time. Yeah, that was totally unheard of to concrete the corners. I mean, how would you even but think it of that? It. But it fixed it. It had to be fixed because at that time, the tires were getting to the point that they had enough grip in them that it was hard to keep asphalt down with the speeds they were running. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just concrete it. And he did, and you know, then that just kind of that was a that was a history making. He was a idea. visionary. Very, very so. Very much so.